Hey, we're all about hors d'oeuvres, munchies, appetizers on today's show. And in the kitchen with the lady who knows a lot about this, this is pastry chef and area caterer, Lindsay Brooks. Great to see you, Lindsay. Oh, you too, Amy. Thank you. Uh, Lindsay makes wonderful hors d'oeuvres, so if you don't feel like cooking for your party, give her a call. She'll be happy to drop them off or even stay and, and serve them all night. Um, but we thought we'd have you do some dessert hors d'oeuvres, some minis, which are very much on trend right now. Mini desserts are, are huge right now. I mean, we were doing tons of weddings with little bite-sized desserts, little elegant things, dinner parties that are all just mini. And, you know, it's fun if you're having an all-appetizer party. Um, don't forget dessert, you know, um, because we, we, of course, have a sweet tooth. So Everybody out yeah, there has yeah, a sweet tooth. <laughs> exactly. So a fun way to end the night, maybe surprise everybody if you're doing all these, you know, savory um, uh, little bites and hors d'oeuvres. At the end of the night, bring out a tray of these, and everyone will go home with a smile on their face, right? Yep. And the best thing about these is they can be made a day or two in advance, and they're going to hold up just fine for you. Um, what are they called? Um, so they're called shooters okay. is what we're going to work with. And shooters are just kind of a, a blanket term that started the last couple of years as far as a trend of little shot glasses, but filled with a dessert, not actually a shooter of a shot, um, but filled with little dessert. Um, and they normally make little tiny spoons to go inside your little shot glasses. Um, and we're making Rocky Road ones. So one of my personal favorites is marshmallows and almonds and fudge. And that's what we're going to throw inside of this shooter. Mm, I love it. So go get yourself some shot glasses. They're not expensive. You'll be able to use them a bunch. You know, there's so many different things you can do with them. Uh, you can put soups in them. Uh, all, you know, not just savory things. There are lots of things you can do. Flowers, you know. Exactly. Little, little yep. And they're normally a dollar or two for a shot glass. So they're nice to have around a dozen or so floating around the house to do just about anything with. And these are fun. They're a little bit taller, which work really nice for these, but any kind will any, work. Any right? kind will work. And if you do the regular standard shot glasses, a normal spoon fits inside of them. So you oh, don't okay. need a baby spoon necessarily. Okay. All right. So, so I'm getting to work on layer number one. We're crushing up some Oreos. Yep. Just kind of hand crushing them up, putting them into the bottom of the glasses. Okay. Okay, I can handle that. We're Not gonna a problem. Work on the marshmallow cream over on this side. So okay. it starts out with a um, about four ounces or so of cream cheese. Okay. And then uh, marshmallow fluff. Mm. Um, so you can make marshmallow from scratch, but it gets to be a long, tedious process. So just buy the um, jarred fluff if okay. you're in a hurry. And you need about half of the jar for the recipe. Okay. Are we doing about one cookie crumbled in the bottom here? Yep. Okay. So we'll go ahead and throw in that marshmallow fluff with the cream cheese and kind of beat that together to get it nice and soft and creamy together. Sticky mess over here. Amy. That's okay. <laughs> I'm sticky over here too. I might, I might, you might notice a few of these Oreos are missing. <laughs> I'm not sure where they would go, but um, this is kind of fun, actually, to break these up ahead of time. And, you know, if you have children, get them involved. Yeah. It's a really easy recipe to have some fun with. Exactly. Okay, so we got our crumbs Perfect. in the bottom of our shot glass. Now what? All right, I'm going to add just a pinch of vanilla to that um, cream cheese marshmallow base. Okay. To add a little more flavor to it. Does the fudge go down next? Yep, so you're going to do a spoon of fudge down there. This is just like a, a jar of hot fudge sauce? Yep, I mean, you can make ganache from scratch, but if you're, again, pinched for time, go ahead and just use a little bit of uh, your favorite fudge sauce, melted chocolate. So we're going to scrape the sides down over here. Now, if you're going to do ganache, um, mm -hmm. and uh, basically that's so easy. Tell people how you do that. Yeah, uh, equal parts chocolate and heavy cream. Just melt that in the, in the stove or in the microwave? Yeah, or? so I normally just like, bring my cream up to a boil, pour it over my chocolate, good to go. You don't have to do that. You can put it all in a bowl and put it in the microwave and just heat it up slowly that way. Okay. But normally if you get the cream hot and then pour it over the chocolate, it melts it, stir it together, and you've got Yum. a really great consistency. Mm, so extra rich. Or as we're doing here, hot fudge sauce from the jar works fine too. It's Whatever all good. you got floating around. The one thing I wanted to do is make it pretty, so you know, don't be afraid to just kind of get in there and wipe it down, right? Exactly. You know? Part of the nice using clear glass is going to be that you can see it and you right. see the different layers. Right. All okay. Right. So our cream over here is cream cheese and the marshmallow fluff, a little okay. bit of vanilla Yum. with the paddle. Taking okay. out the paddle, and I'm going to add uh, the whisk attachment to it now. Okay. And we're going to whip in heavy cream. Ooh, so it's really going to be like a really super rich whipped cream. Yep. Okay. That tastes like a marshmallow. Mm. So scrape down the sides just a little bit there. And then you want this in? Uh, not yet. Not we're going to slowly add it. Okay. So go ahead and get that whisk on there, get it on there, and then keep about half of it slowly pour in. Want the rest? Yep, go ahead. Okay.
So this is something, you know, you're having people over for an hors d'oeuvre party. You can get these completely made ahead, parked in the refrigerator for up to how long ahead, do you think? Um, two or three days. Oh, wow. Just fine. Okay. So they're really stable once they're in the glass. Okay. So Good to know. Go ahead and whip this to a firm peak so okay. that whipped cream is going to kind of whip up and okay. be nice and firm. And then you can do it with an ice cream scooper if you have a little baby ice cream scooper or just put it in a piping bag. Okay. So we've got some over yep. here all ready to go. And that's because so. we really need to be able to get in here. So that piping bag The piping bag works yeah. the best. Yeah. And again, this is like your marshmallow cream for okay. the, the Rocky Road part mm. of it. So we're going to go ahead and pipe it on in mm. there. And I leave a little space at the top where I'm going to do a little bit more fudge sauce and I'll do um, a nice toasted almond on there. Oh, wow, yummy. And look at how pretty these are, the different layers. So just a little dollop of the fudge sauce? Yep. Does it need to be any special way or am I doing okay? You're doing great. Try not to get it on the edge of the glasses, but okay. other than that, you're doing perfect. Okay. And that's why these little baby spoons, you, if you can find them at garage sales and things like that, or just, you know, head to a baby store and pick them up, they, you, you caterers use these a lot. Yep. Um, for little tiny garnishes, I mean, and you can even find them in that coffee section too as little demi um, spoons. Okay. So, and These then just add some toasted raw almonds to add a little crunch to it on the very just top. Put it, does it yep. matter which nope, way? No, just kind of garnish the very top to them. Yep, there you go. How fun. And we've got a real pretty white space. A nice that, serving plaid you can send them out on. And that's really important. I know you caterers don't like to overdo, you know, you want to be able to fill things up rather than... Nice white space really mm -hmm. does accent it. Um, it's a garnish in itself. It's just the whiteness. Gorgeous. These so are fun. These are shooters, and you can have fun, mix and match your different flavors. I mean, you can get into a key lime pie in here and crushed up graham crackers. But uh, the idea is just get a nice little dessert in a little serving portion. And they look fantastic. Thank you. That's a great way to end an hors d'oeuvre party. Everybody will be talking about it and want the recipe, and you're going to see them at the next party you go to that they host. <laughs> <laughs> I always say that's a good idea. If they copy you, that, that's a then, good yeah, idea. Yeah, it's a great compliment. All right. Thanks, Lindsay. Really appreciate you're it. You're welcome. Thank you. We'll be right back. Stay with us.